I've been having a lot of fun trying to adapt different plants to hydroponics. And this African violet was probably one of my biggest challenges. I initially started this out in what was called a cracky or non-circulating hydroponic container. Uh, this uh, glass jar was painted with uh, a spray-on paint and it just keeps the uh, light from going through and hitting the nutrient water inside of it and creating algae. And so I put this uh, hydroponic setup with the African violet uh, together about Oh, approximately a couple months ago and it is planted in a net pot it's just a little basket it has open areas for the roots to possibly grow out in, into the water and I packed uh, glass beads around the plant so there's no soil at all now what I found and what I've uh, explained in previous videos is that uh, the African violet grows very slowly and it also has a short root system on it so it may not be a great candidate for hydroponics but uh, what I uncovered uh, today was very surprising. Um, much like a, a turtle in a race, uh, the African violet is a slow grower and slow to uh, progress from soil to hydroponics. And to my surprise, I'm actually starting to see water roots forming and going down into the container. And that gives me a lot of hope for the future because it may be a case that African violets are suited for hydroponics, but uh, we just have to keep in mind that uh, they're slow to adapt and slow to grow. So here's the root system and see what you think. I have been trying to grow this African violet in a method called non-circulating hydroponics. and. I was really surprised that uh, African violets were slow to grow and I found out that they have very short roots. So they might be uh, a plant that grows better in a static level of hydroponics with non-circulating, but uh, it has been a probably a couple months. Um, so you're looking at the uh, container that I had it in. It's just a glass jar that was spray painted and has nutrient water um, using hydroponic nutrients. But for the longest time, there were no water roots that were extending down from the base of this plant. So imagine my surprise when finally I'm starting to see a little bit of progression with uh, what I would call uh, the crack key model and water roots. So this does give me hope for the long run that even though this particular uh, variety of plant has short roots that over a longer period of time it may adapt to a water growing environment.